Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video is actually going to be a little bit different. I mean, it's Dragalia Lost. It's been a little while since I uploaded a Dragalia Lost video. Currently, there's an event going on in the game. It's giving us half um, stamina on Imperial Onslaught. The problem with Imperial Onslaught is that not everyone has wings in there all the time. And sometimes it's best to just auto the, the event. Now, with autoing the event, I know that some people may have a hard time constructing a team for autoing master mode. So for this video, I'm actually going to be making videos on each IO individually and how to auto them with your um, with your team. So hopefully this will be helpful to you guys. Uh, it may be a very niche video. I guess this is more high to end game video. But for people who have a hard time finding a team to auto it, I'm trying to be here to help you. Now, for the IO we're going to be doing first in the video, you may see it right here. We're going to be starting with the wind IO. The wind IO is the easiest IO in my opinion. Um, Imperial Onslaught, I have to keep saying IO in case you're wondering. It's the easiest one because most people have a lot of investment into their fire because of high Midgard. And you can convert that investment into units for um, autoing Imperial Onslaught. Now, with this um, autoing this, you do need specific units you can you can mismatch if you don't have said unit but you are looking for a specific team structure to make it consistent Cause at the end of the day it's more consistent it's more important to have a consistent auto team than a team that can auto it every once in a while but then you die it's, it's kind of annoying to look at it and like ah, i died again so for this one ideally your slot one needs to be a unit with sleep res you, the, ideally, you want them to have a hundred percent sleep resistance, but some units you can, you can kind of swamp around and mess around with them. But your your first slot needs to be a unit with sleep res. For this video, I'll be using Azalef. I'm going to no other options. You do have Navid, so if you have Navid, he's an op an option you could put in slot one. Um, another option in slot one you could put is Carl if you have him. Carl's not a bad option. He has to be a very good option as well. Melsa is an option as well. The problem with Melsa is that you do need to run a print on her. Uh, there was an event with Hypnosis. During that event, they gave, oh, you can see my phone's on 5% battery. It's probably why I'm trying to speed through the video. <laughs> but um, there was an event with Melsa. It gave a print with her. That print you can run on her to give her more sleep resistance. Do note that these units have, well, do note that these units need to have high investment in them. So keep that in mind. Sonoa is not an option. I don't recommend running Sonoa as your main unit um, because the fact that you want your DPS units and your melee units to be more aggressive. So even though Sonoa is going to hit before them, it's going to take them a little bit of time to start running up the AI that is. So Sonoa, I don't recommend as your main unit. Um, the last unit I would recommend is actually I, I, whatever her name is. She's not a bad unit. Same thing as Melsa, she has not max sleep res, so you're gonna have to run a print on her to max out her sleep resistance so that she does not get put to sleep by the boss. Keep in mind that the units are gonna be face taking a lot, so that's the reason I want your units to have sleep resist on them. Weapon could be anything. I recommend having element weapons if you can, four star, five star. Um, if you don't have element weapons, you can run the tier two five star craftable weapon that's not bad in this video i'll be running that instead though i recommend running elemental weapons because they give you more damage now the print depending on the unit if you're using melsa or oi um you you're going to have to run a print from the hypnos event to boost up their sleep res if not if you're running something like ezalif or navid carl i recommend running a print that has sleep damage resistance up. So not sleep damage, my fault, wind damage resist. So for that, I'll be running Midgard's print. As you see here, Midgard's does give 5% sleep res. So you take 5% less damage. That helps a little bit. Dragons, now with dragons, your options really are Ifrit. Brunhilda's not a bad option either. If you have it max unbound, regular Brunhilda. If you were one of the older players, you may have access to Pele. Um, he's not a bad dragon either. Cerberus, Agni. Um, in this video, I'll be using Cerberus because it's already done for me. Do note that my Cerberus is max unbound. 
so she's gonna have i'm gonna have a lot more damage than most players though you can circumvent that by having the five star le weapons or whatever i will clear a little bit faster but it's not for clearing the fastest it's more about having that consistent team where you can clear the content consistently now slot two slot two and three are interchangeable um in slot two, you do see that I have Yudin. I actually do not recommend Yudin. If you can avoid using him, I'd rather you use somebody else. But if you must, then Yudin is your go-to unit. Um, slot two could be any unit like Makoto or any stun res unit. So Makoto's an option. In my opinion, the best option would be Vanessa. Vanessa having the defense co-op ability does help a lot, but um vanessa is okay makoto is okay you can also run zania sanoa i recommend those two units because of the fact that the way that the boss works and when io his attacks are very close to him so long range units like sanoa and zania have a really easy time picking him off from afar with the, with the um ai you can also run elaine um elaine is just for the fact that he gives health to the team in case your team is dying a lot, you may need the health. He's not a bad option, this guy right here. If I can click on him. Oh, right here. He's not a bad option. Um, he's not that great. You're mainly using him just for the fact that he gets HP up via his co-op ability. Keep in mind that co-op abilities are very important as they do boost your overall team performance. But for this video, we'll be using Yudin with his, uh, yeah, his, yeah, we use a five star tier two. Um, so the print, the same thing applies. You want to run when resist or when res on your units. For this video, I'm actually going to be running the Christmas one because it comes with 10% XP up. Do note that the 10% uh, XP up does not stack with Yudin, but just for the video, hypothetical situation, I'll be running it in case like most people may be running it. As I mentioned with third slot, I'm um, keeping Xenia. Xenia is just because of you having long range and good DPS does help a lot. Um, Sonoa works there perfectly fine. Uh, to be honest, Sonoa's probably better if you want the more consistent clear because he does have the ability to increase your overall team to HP. Sonoa does not have that ability. Not fault. Xenia does not have that ability, but Xenia has more DPS. And for the fourth slot, I recommend a healer. Fourth slot could be Verica. Verica's not a really, really good option. Um, one thing I mentioned on Verica though, is that I will run the recent print we got with skill prep, or if you have any gotcha, um, um, worm prints with skill prep, those are also fine. You want skill prep so that she gets to her heal as fast as possible. The more quickly she gets to her heal, the better off you'll be with. Um, her dragon could be anything. It could be high Brunhilde and or Phoenix. I run high Brunhilde cause it gives overall more damage but Phoenix works perfectly fine. Um, another option you could run is Lowen. Lowen is not a bad option here. He does increase the team health as well. And he also gives a bear, uh, defense boost. He comes with inherent skill prep, so you may not need to run it on him. Though if you want to get his skills turn um, at the very beginning of the fight, he starts with 75. So you may have to run the print on him as well to get him to 100. And your last option here is Hildegard. Hildegard is perfectly fine as well. Um, she doesn't need any boosting uh, in terms of skill prep because she has 100%. So you can just give her recovery potency to maximize her heals. Other notable units that could be put in slot four could be Cleo, though I don't recommend Cleo. Cleo with high investment should be perfectly fine. Um, Thaniel being the very, very last option. I don't think you don't recommend Thaniel at all. You probably best off running Sophia at that point or Hope are um, Hope or what's her name? Estelle, Estella, I think her name is. I have her, this the four star unit here. Three star unit, my fault, Estella, or Estelle. So any of those units per work perfectly fine, but ideally you just want a healer just so that your team is taking, while they're taking damage, you have someone to constantly keep your team at full health. Uh, without Vanessa, you can also run Julieta in slot two, just in case. I recommend Vanessa the most, but I don't have Vanessa. So Julieta works perfectly fine as well. Mainly you want an ax user. This is for the defense boost. Defense or HP boost, perfectly fine.
but let's get to the fight right now let's see how it goes now because i as i mentioned before i do have oh, because I do have Cerberus Max Unbond on my Azalef, her DPS is actually pretty decent. And she can blow through this really fast. But this is just to show you a little video of it. Do tell me um, if you have any problems in the comments. I'll try to send you guys uh, an answer or solution to it. So you can see here at the very beginning, the AI is really aggressive. So because the AI is aggressive, it's a lot harder for the, the range units at the beginning, but it also helps them because the fact that they get a lot of their skills really early on. Um, you want them to get their skills as fast as possible, mainly Verica because you can see there my team does take damage really fast because I do not have a defense unit. That's why I mentioned recommended Vanessa so heavily. See as Verica got her heal really early, it covers all of them for taking early on. Now with the other Imperial IOs, our Imperial on Onslaught, they're a little bit more specific on units, especially when you look at the um, water one and the light one. Those two being the most difficult to build a team around or construct a team around them because they require specific units. One of the units being for water IO, it's a lean. It's really hard to do it without a lean. So a lean does matter quite a bit. Now you can see here, as a lift, that's taking a lot of damage, but we should be fine as long as Vera can get a heal up. Two or three, whatever, whatever skills you want you want to use, doesn't really matter. He used skills too, so that means her skill wants to be coming back rather soon. As a lift is really good here because of her skill one actually. And while normally skill one has really bad damage um, per second or DPS, it has really good invulnerability. So because of the invulnerability, you may not take a lot of damage. So while the DPS may be low, you don't take a lot of damage and you can still stay alive so that Verica can heal. For units like Carl and um, Navid, they don't have that luxury, though Navid does have a defense boost. Carl doesn't have any of that. So if you're using a unit like Carl, you need to bring um, uh, the, a unit that boosts your defense or HP. Preferably defense though. But that was a quick video. Um, do tell me if you guys like this type of video. I was trying to make more videos like this. I want to make a, each, a video for each IEL before the, um, the event's currently over. But, you know, I'll try my best. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time and peace out.